All right, today you'll be flying your glider, and the things you'll need out is, of course, your hang glider. You'll need your curriculum notebook out because this will help you on instructions on how to place your clothes pin and how to trim your hang glider if it's flying to the left or to the right. You'll need a pair of scissors, your clothes pin, and a tape measure. The next step is today you'll need a piece of paper and please label it hang gliding with your name and 1 through 10 with the word average and this will be filled out for on um, the length of your flights and then later you'll calculate the average of your flight so please fill out a worksheet. first two things you need to do is ask your instructor where they want you to fly your hang glider and you need your tape measure because so what you need to do with the tape measure is lay it out for the measuring part of the activity so with you and your partner you need to take your tape measure pull it out down to about 24 feet and lay it down on the floor once you get on the floor you have to lock the tape measure using the little locking me mechanism. Watch very carefully how I do this. This little yellow lever I need to push down with my thumb while holding the tape measure in place. You need to push it down firmly all the way down to the bottom so it doesn't release and slide across the floor. When you throw your hang glider, it's important to remember that this is not a baseball you need to throw it gently you're just it's a glider so you are not throwing it in a hard motion you're just nice easy release to let it glide through the air All right, underneath your hang glider in these keel pieces that you glued on is where you need to attach your clothespin I'm going to attach mine in the center when you fly your hang glider if it takes a hard turn down that means your closed pin is too far forward. If your hang glider makes it turn upwards, that means your closed pin is too far in the back. You need to practice flying your hang glider a few times to figure out which works as the center for your hang glider. Sometimes when you throw it, it may take a, a turn, and then you have to refer to your mission notebook and figure out which edge you need to trim to make your hang glider go straight. Don't trim off very much, trim off just a very small edge. Before you take your 10 throws that you measure down, you want to take a few practice throws and work with your hang glider and find your center to help it fly correctly and see if you need any trimming to see if it needs to fly a little bit more straight. Now you'll begin flying your 10 flights. And you'll be measuring these for distance. So I'm going to fly my first flight here. Now my hang glider landed here. And I'd come straight over and I would find the nearest foot that it came to. Mine was at 16 feet. So for my first flight, I'd write down 16 feet. Continue on making extra flights with your hang glider. So you'll add up to 10 flights total. Mark all 10 of your flights down in your worksheet. Then refer to window 4 of your curriculum notebook and how to, it'll help you figure out the average for your flights. If you've completed all of your 10 flights and your average and there's a lot of time left in class, what you can do is just write another 10 flights down here and record all 10 and see if you can increase your average flight over a total of 10 flights.